The thing that sticks in my mind as regards Russian convoys is the fact that the first convoy I went on was two fast troop ships that, under the agreement with Winston Churchill and Stalin, they were repatriated from after D-Day, um, men, women and children who had been helping the Germans, captured in the first instance by the Germans, and, you know, you're either shot, sent to a concentration camp, or you help us. Well, I, I think I know what I'd do, and this is what these people did. They helped the Germans, but on the, uh, there must have been a few that were sabotaging as well. But um, generally, they all helped the Germans, 11,000 people. And Church Churchill said, you're sending submarines after us in the North Atlantic. You're cutting off our supply of food, and we're feeding your people in a camp at Liverpool just outside of Liverpool. Um, now, come on, what are we going to do about it? Um, you've got to have him back. And Stalin says, all right, send him on in. Well, these two liners, um, one of them was the Empress of Australia. I can't remember the other one now. It's a funny name. Anyway, um, we picked them up. I don't know where it was, outside of Liverpool or Lockyer, wherever wherever it was. We picked them up and um, we hoteled it to Pollyarno um, in a little bay, Cola Bay, I think. Yeah, Cola Bay we got. In, and um, these, these two liners, they hove to just outside of, just offshore, and um, little drifters, little boats, took all the people off, all these 11,000 off of both boats, and um, straight into lorries, and away into the hills, and nobody heard anything of them since. That was, that was what we heard when we got back home. And um, there were... Norwegian guards on these two troopers, apparently. And um, they were told by these refugees, repatriates, that um, they were going to be shot. They knew they were going to be shot. And um, apparently, you know, that's what happened. Some of them got out, some of them came back, but the um, majority of them just went to the death that is and it's pretty widely publicized now so um you know if you pick up the right books you can read all about it i'll um it's a very hard hitting story it's it, it's that is that is what russian convoys reminds me of you know if i if somebody mentions russian convoys to me I remember those 11,000 people that I helped go to their doom, if you like. I was part of it, and um, a very small part, but I was part of it, and um, that hurts. Um, like I say, I've got faith, and I, I know... They weren't destined for that. They, they're human beings. You know, it was. They didn't deserve that. But then war is cruel. And what do you what 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 do you get in the end? Nothing. Today, Afghanistan, shaking hands, everything's all right. But. Everybody seems to want to fight today. I don't know why. It's surely, you know, it's much better to be peaceful and enjoy life than go around carving people up. It's 
ridiculous to think that there was an appreciable number got away. But I don't know. Stalin was as ruthless as Hitler in his own way, I think. And thank goodness they're both gone. Such a waste, war, such a, such a waste.